What up, YouTube? This is the man 7431 coming back with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to take two popular devices and using them as one. And it's really, 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 really simple. But first, I just want to let you guys know that this video is not going to have nothing to do with the video that I made four or five days ago. And if you don't know what video I'm talking about and you guys are subscribed to me, you should be ashamed of yourself because you should know what I'm talking about. But if you don't know, I'm going to refresh you guys' memory. And you need to go over and check that video out. But about four or five days ago, I created a video on YouTube called Apple iOS and Android on one device, basically on one phone. And um, I'm not going to talk about everything in the video. If you guys want to check out the video, just go over to my channel, go through my videos and just look for that videos that I just mentioned again, which I'm going to tell you again, Apple iOS and Android on one phone. Or I think I might have titled it on one device. But go over there and check that out. You'll get more information. This video here is not connected to that video, okay? I'll repeat, this video is not connected to that video. This is a whole different video, okay? Now, I will tell you that for that video that I made four days ago, um, I did get the tracking information finally. And I won't be getting that particular device until July 25th. So if you want to know more information about that device, please go to my YouTube channel, search my videos, and look for Apple iOS and Android on either one phone or one device. Okay. Now, the video that I'm going to be making today for you guys is that I'm going to show you how to connect an Apple iPhone, or you can use an Apple iPod, or you can use an Android device. I'm gonna show you guys how to connect those two devices together and use them basically together. If you wanna use the um, iPhone, you're able to use the iPhone. If you get tired of using the iPhone or the iPod Touch, you can switch back to Android. So let me go ahead and drop down to the table so you guys can see what all you need. Sorry, that's the noise of the tripod, guys. So basically what you guys are going to need is any, any Android device, which hopefully you guys can see that okay, but any Android, this is a Samsung Galaxy S3. I was not able to sell this on my channel, which is cool, but I'm kind of glad that I didn't sell it because... Um, I wanted to go ahead and keep it after all, and I was going to use this for this project anyway. So, like I said, you can use any any phone, but um, this is what I'm using. I'm hating that it's focusing in and out, but any Samsung Galaxy device or any just Android device in general. Um, I'm going to be using my iPod Touch fifth generation and I'm going to be using some velcro industrial strength I picked this up at the store for like three dollars and change didn't really cost me that much so Let's go ahead and get on with it. Now, if you guys are kind of scared that you're going to get 
some of this Velcro stickiness stuff on the back of your bare device. Um, oh, sorry for the, the uh, going out of focus, guys. I'm trying to get this out of here as quick as possible. All right. So, let's see, you get, for $3.19, you get two sets of Velcro. Oh, this camera is going out of focus and it's driving me crazy. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna work with it, guys. Okay. So anyway, let me bring these back over here. So what you guys are going to need to do is take, let me get this out of here so it can, the camera can focus just on one thing right now because it's going crazy focusing on everything else. But as you can see here, um, this Velcro is just enough to go on here. So let me go ahead and pause this, guys. I don't want this video to be, you know, 20, 30 minutes long. Let me pause this and get this on here, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So basically, now I have the Velcro, the um, adhesive part, and the other section, um, the sticky and the part with the um, spiky stuff on. I got them on different sides here, but they are stuck on. Um, this one on over here is kind of off-centered, but you know it still works. So. Um, Basically, what you would do, oh, and if you guys, like I'm using my bare case, but if you guys want to use like an outer box or some generic case, you don't screw up the back of your um, original case, that's fine. I decided to use my iPod case um, because my iPod case, I don't know, I don't want to really, well, you really won't damage the case. I mean, if anything, um, this stuff should come off pretty simple. Let me show you really quick. Um, if you just grip the, um, pull it up here. Yeah, see, it just comes right off. It takes a little bit of power. But as you can see, I got it pulled up there. Yeah, it doesn't leave any residue or anything on the back of that guys get the focus in there but see it peels right back off so it's not going to harm your case or anything got a little bit of the residue stuff here but other than that that's pretty much it guys i mean you just take this and you just connect it to the back here like so and there you go. It's kind of off a little bit center, but there you go, guys. And you've got your iPod Touch or your iPhone and your Android device. And you know, it feels natural. I mean, it. There's a little weight on the back because you got your iPod Touch or your iPhone in the back, but, you know, it works. Then I can flip my iPod Touch. Hold on, I'm going to take it out so you guys don't see my code. But see, now I can flip to my iPod Touch. Well, if it wants to focus in, there we go. I'm going to 
to my Walgreens app. But yeah, guys, just a little bit of a cool little thing there that I was thinking about that could be my next video. And see, that's it's really strong on there, guys. So you ain't got to worry about, you know, your device falling off or anything like that or coming loose because, as you can see, that Velcro, that Velcro is very 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 strong so and then another sweet thing about it is you know you can charge let it focus focus you be able to charge both of your devices there we go And you'll be able to get access to your ports with no problem. I mean, everything is just pretty much good all around, guys. So if you guys want to, you know, have the best of both worlds, you know, as far as doing it this way, and you've got an old iPod Touch, and you can't part with it, but you got an Android phone and you don't want to part with that. See how strong of a grip that's got, guys? But if you, if you can't part with your devices and you want to connect them both, then this is an option for you. Um, like, I, like I said before, you know, if you guys want to um, go over to my channel, and check my videos and look for the Pacific video that I made called Apple iOS and Android on one phone or I think I titled it on one device. But if you wanna see um, that video and it'll be explained more in depth on what I'm talking about, um, then go over there and check that out. If you don't wanna wait forever, for me to get this device and review it and let you guys know if it's going to be worth buying or not and the pricing and stuff on it. And you got an old Android device and an old, even an old iPod Touch, a first gen, a second gen, or an old Android phone. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to do this, it doesn't really cost you that much. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys got an old iPod, even if it's a first gen laying around a house with an old Android phone. Um, the reason why I'm doing this, guys, is because, you know, if you guys haven't checked out my um, $25 challenge video, there is a power amp um, application that's only on Android devices. And Apple doesn't have that application on their device. So for a long time, I've been wanting to get this on an Apple device, but I can't get it. But now since I can connect both of these devices together by connecting them back to back, then I can always carry both devices with me at the same time. Now I know a lot of you guys are thinking, well you can just put one in your pocket and put the other one in your pocket, but you know, that doesn't, you know, you got your keys and all of that stuff. You don't want all that. You just want to connect them both. And I know the next question you guys are going to have, well, you probably, you know, well, your screens are going to be all icky and geeky. And I'm like, you know, it's all good. You know, it's just fingerprints. You're going to get that on your phone anyway. But, you know, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. Like this video. Subscribe. Share this video with everybody. Um, again, just come by my channel, check out all my videos, guys. Um, I'm pretty sure you're going to see something in there that you guys will like, and um, you won't regret it. This is the man 7431 signing out, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.